Not bad numbers at all over at Yahoo, and this morning investors are yodeling about them. The web portal reported that Q3 profits were nearly unchanged from a year ago, but the company still beat the street by two cents a share. So the shares are jumping by five and a half percent or $1.88 to $35.58. Joining us now from New York is Susan Decker. She's chief financial officer of Yahoo. Well, Ms. Decker, I guess online advertising is back. It accounted for 82 percent of your sales. Who's doing all the advertising? You know, we're seeing advertising strength from really across the board. On our branded side, we have do business with the nation's top marketers. The top 200 marketers represent a large share of our, our total business, and they keep spending more and finding new ways to reach their consumers. Then on our sponsored search side, we offer advertising opportunities to hundreds of thousands of small and medium-sized businesses along with e-commerce companies. All of them are, are seeking the same thing, which is that more and more consumers are on the web, and that's how they're able to reach them directly. What are you doing to improve the monetization of each search? We have a number of initiatives underway. You know, when we first got into the search business a couple years ago, our first priority was on the algorithmic side. Then we turned our efforts about a year ago, and all our operating plans this year are all around trying to enhance monetization, which to the company represents all upside. You saw the first of that in this quarter. We launched an invite-only beta for the Yahoo Publisher Network. Mm -hmm. That's extending some of the inventory we have, and we'll open that up more broadly in early 06. Uh, in addition, we're working on various matching algorithms that help drive the coverage of terms and drive re revenue per search up. And then longer term, we're really focusing on the algorithms themselves to drive click-through rates and some of the advertiser tools that uh, will help reduce friction in the system. And we should see some of the benefits of that in, later in 06. So oh, overall, we're really pleased. Yeah, overall, a pretty good report and, and a good outlook, too. I guess then the one thing that jumped out at me was that Yahoo appears to be losing a bit of market share when it comes to search hits. That declined during the quarter, yet Google, Microsoft uh, gained market share. To what do you attribute that? And what are you doing about it? You know, I guess it depends on what data you look at. What we see is that uh, there, it flips up and down uh, every month. We gain share in June and July, tick down a little bit in uh, August, back up in September. So I think the bigger point really is that there's been very broad stability among the top two players on a global basis. We are tickled. We, we, that's a, a great goal for us was to try to achieve stability in a mm -hmm. very rapidly growing market having not even been in the business for two years. So we, we feel really pleased with that, actually, and, and see that as a great sign of, uh, of strength. You're giving Q4 estimates, and I see that it's net revenue of $1.03 billion to $1.08 billion within the band that Wall Street analysts are expecting. But the dollar's been strong. How do you expect the currency might play into the picture? I know it has before with your company. That's why I'm asking. Yes, we, are, we have about 25% of our business comes from markets outside the U.S. So when the dollar strengthens relative to the market basket of currencies that we're ex uh, we, we have exposure to, that would tend to uh, create a little bit of a headwind. It isn't a material headwind. It, we did talk about that with our guidance yesterday. There's probably about $5 million of impact that we see in terms of what the fourth quarter will be versus what we might have thought three months ago. We are still able to raise our guidance notwithstanding that, though, given the underlying strength in the business. This month you announced this alliance, uh, the instant messaging alliance with big, bad Microsoft. Tell us how that came about and how you expect it to add to your bottom line. You know, we're thrilled with that partnership. It's really the culmination of many months of discussions. It's something that makes so much sense to consumers to have the combination of our two networks, which together reach you know, close to 300 million people globally. It enhances the service in, in a very material way. It was very important to us, though, to make sure that we, as we took that first step and were leaders in driving that, that we choose a partner that has the size and scale that we do, and that also can, that can have, offer the security and safety features that are so important to make sure this consumer experience is outstanding. What is the number one priority for Yahoo right now? When you look at all of the things that are on your plate, which looks to you to be the one that you need to bolster the most? Would it be partnerships like that, alliances like that, or is it gaining more market share in certain areas? You know, we have multiple priorities, but I think if you really wanted to distill it down to one broad area, we, we really are all about our consumers who come to see us every month. Uh, we have an enormous breadth today. We reach 400 million people per month, which is really astonishing when you think about it. There are a billion people that come to the Internet on a global ma basis every month, and 40 percent of them stop by Yahoo and, and stay with us and use our services. So from here going forward, we're really focused on engagement, depth, helping people find what they're looking for, helping them uh, publish and create information, and ultimately getting them more and more tied to our suite of services. The financial side really falls out of that, and so our primary focus is really on the consumer. Susan Decker, we thank you for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Susan is Chief Financial Officer at Yahoo.